everybody. Welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67. It's Gina again. Uh, this week my goal is to finish up projects that I started <laughs> some time back and this was one of them. You guys remember when I was making the clutches with the matching journals? This was another one <clears throat> that I had started. I had to stop it before I went back home at Christmas so it's just now getting complete. So these are using... Um, antique papery uh, papers and then this is one of Nikki uh, Adigan's beautiful uh, rip strips that she's got in her shop so do check that out. Um, I'm going to put the tutorial link in the description box if you're interested in learning how to make one of these. Um, they are a lot of fun. These are made from using uh, paper lunch bags and it's just, a, it's just a nice, fun project, guys. Um, on the closure here, I've added a couple glass beads and then just a little eyelet closure there. So I love how these, um, these little journals feel. And I'm going to have to, once I've finished all my unfinished projects, I do want to revisit this and uh, make some more of these. So this journal is very plain to the ones that I've sold previously, and so that's going to be reflected in the, in the price. I've kept this as a very plain um, journal. <clears throat> there is still a journal card in the front and in the back, which I will show you in, in just a minute. But there's a lot of stitching. Um, same process, obviously, in uh, creating it. Sorry, I don't know what's hanging that there. Um, hmm. Not too sure why that doesn't want to go back in. Oh, I see. I'm going to have to put some glue on that. I don't know why that's not stuck down. Um, so, yeah, this was um, just lots of different um, strips of the paper, and then I, I used that uh, Tim Holtz collage medium in the vintage to give it a more aged look. So you've got the journal card there and then in the uh, front I've added a pocket with a tag with the same papers and then the rest of it is uh, very much a blank journal. So the only other thing is I've got a journal card here, a couple of little um, paper clips holding those, old vintage pages. So it's a naked journal uh, for somebody to embellish themselves or just journal in. Maybe you're just a journal, you know, just you just like to journal without really <coughs> adding a lot of pockets. Um, a couple little butterflies in the center of the signature. And then I was going to show, this is another clipped in floating pocket because you've got a pocket here and then two pockets here that I've just added a couple little journal cards with tabs. So you can do more writing there. And I've just clipped that in and so obviously that can float within the journal. Um, like I said, it's just um, this was just I classify as another stash busting. Here's another pocket that I've sewn in, and then another pocket on the back that you can add something to. And on the very back, I've made another large journaling tag there. So this one is going into the shop, as I said, um, just trying to finish up. You guys just wouldn't believe how many projects I've got started that for whatever reason I got sidetracked and now I'm just trying to go through because I've got to clear out these little projects and get on with some new um, new designs. So stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of stash busting journals coming up and if you're interested in this, this is going to go into the shop. So I will be back soon guys with more to share. Take care.